Hi, Josh Willis with Raise This. Um, today, I just want to answer a couple of questions that are frequently asked. A uh, question that's asked more than any other question is, aren't you concerned with blow-offs or the mask lifting up? And the answer I give everybody is no, I'm not concerned with that. And I'll go back to this, and I said it, I'll say it a thousand times. If the mask is applied properly, you will never have a blow-off or lift-off. If you're currently having blow-offs or lift-offs with whatever form of a blasting you're doing, it always goes back to the application process. Um, if the stone is, if the mask is applied, applied properly, you won't have any issues. What does applied properly mean? Well, the stone has to be clean, and everybody's probably thinking, well, that's a given. But the problem is, is a lot of people will just wipe off the stone or maybe hit it with some Windex and call it clean. It has to be completely dust-free. So if you're doing a mask over a sanded or a honed finish, then you really have to clean that stone. What I tell people is to blow it off with compressed air, which everybody has in their shop. Once that's done, you want to go over it with some sort of solvent, camping fuel, white gas, acetone, lacquer thinner, something other than Windex. Uh, with a nice microfiber towel, that's going to remove every bit of fine particle dust. Lastly, heat the stone. If you're having problems with blow off, heat the stone. Whether you're using photoresist film or rubber stencil, heat is amazing. It causes that, that mass to pull down. The other thing it does is it removes moisture. Even though you think the stone is dry, if you take a torch and you put it on the stone, the first thing you're going to see is the top of that stone get wet from moisture. So what happens when we sandblast? We start heating up the stone. What does that do? That draws the moisture up. So if you eliminate the moisture from the beginning, you eliminate your liftoffs or blowoffs in the future. So what I tell people is, listen, clean the stone, blow it off, wipe it off with a solvent, heat it up with a torch just to get, get it nice and warm, then apply your stencil. If you do those simple steps, you will not have blow off or lift off while blasting.